Many people think that having a peck, pecking order within the hen population is a bad thing because the dominant, the dominant uh, hens will peck the smaller hens or the less dominant or more submissive hens and then the dominant hens get the food first, the water first, and the best roosting place. But however, this is actually a good thing because once the pecking order is established, who goes first and who goes last and who goes second and third, then there's very little conflict within the chicken community. Bark! We're going to be learning something slightly more complex about the looking at data distributions on dot plots and comparing the difference of the medians as a ratio of the variability in these two populations. Now when we do this we want the variability to be very similar. We see that the football players on this dot plot, this is the pounds per player for football players. And football players, as you could, would guess, are heavier than soccer players. If we by just glancing at this, what would you think the median would be? Well, I told you, but it is 170 pounds. If we took, crossed out the top and the bottom, the median number for the uh, football players' weights is about 170 pounds for a high school football team. And then we look at the median absolute deviation, or what is the deviation from the median? And I put them in order from the biggest difference is 30 pounds, 200 is 30 pounds bigger than 170, and 140 is also 30 pounds uh, different than 170 pounds. Put these in order and then found that the median absolute deviation or the median of the differences is 10 pounds. Then we did it with a soccer team and we found out that the median weight of a soccer player is 150 pounds and the deviation was also 10 pounds. The deviation between 150 and 180 was 30, between 150 and 130 is 20, and then there's a lot of differences of 10 and then finally no differences. Our median absolute deviation was also 10 pounds. Now if we use the ratio of the difference of the medians, 170 minus 150, what would that be? That's right, 20 pounds. And we put that over the absolute deviation, or median absolute deviation, which is 10 pounds. We find out that we have, a, that this is a multiple of 2, or the median absolute deviation is one half of the difference of the medians.